Thieves stole three expensive cars straight off a dealership service center lot earlier this morning. Roswell police are actively working now to figure out who took these custom vehicles. Investigators believe at least two thieves are responsible. One of the victims tells Fox 5's Laura Neal they'll be responsible to replace his rare vehicle. This is an active investigation. Roswell police tell me they are going through surveillance video and investigating this case to figure out who's responsible for stealing multiple high end vehicles from here overnight. So I custom built this Jeep. I ordered it way back in February of this year and took almost seven months to come in. It's a, I've been saving for this thing since they came out in 2008. It was like a dream car of mine. So I designed it from basically wheels up, custom color, custom interior, custom rims, like literally everything that I've ever wanted. I, I custom built on the car and I've only been in the old for four months. Police say they're looking for at least two suspects, two suspects who stole three custom and rare cars, seemingly without a trace. Police tell us two of the cars are valued at $70,000 and the third at 80. But one victim we spoke to say these cars are all worth well over $100,000. Jeep has you connect on it. I went turn it on immediately and the last location of the Jeep was at Palmer um, last night. So the, that's what my um, insurance agent said. Um, she basically said they knew exactly what they were doing. They cut that line immediately and it was off. I've tried to be on the app all morning honking, unlocking it and everything else. And it's just not connect, it's just not connecting to it. Dugan says he does have good insurance that will cover the value of the car, but he's not sure he wants to go through losing something like that again. Jeep no longer makes the SRT, so finding another one and rebuilding it would be a lot of work. It's going to be, you know, one hundred and fifteen, one hundred twenty thousand dollars to replace it at this point. Dugan says even the things left in the car can't be replaced. I actually own a whiskey company, too, so it had like one off whiskey samples in there that I can't get back. But he's grateful he and his wife are safe and he may take this as a sign that he should drive something else next. I was like, we have great insurance. It can be replaced. But I was like, do I even want to replace it with something that high end if I don't have a target on my back? The service people we spoke to here at Palmer say that the video they have shows more of just the bodies taking the vehicles and not a lot about their descriptions. If you know anything about this case, please contact Roswell Police. Reporting in Roswell, Laura Neal, Fox 5 News.